it's a really compact wallet considering this is a pretty thick wad of bills puro barya but <laughs> it's what i had <laughs> Hi everyone, this is I Am Bag Happy. I'm a luxury lover based in the Philippines and welcome to my little corner on the internet where I share my perspective on all things luxury. So for this video, I decided to talk about two small leather goods from Hermes. And these are the Hermes Bastia and the Hermes Calvi. They are pretty popular because they are relatively inexpensive items from Hermes that you can actually purchase off of their website. I personally purchased these directly off of the Hermes Italy website and had them delivered to me via my shopping box. Uh, for my fellow Filipinos who are residing in the Philippines, if you're interested to know how I was able to purchase them off of the website directly, do let me know, comment below, so I'll make a video about it. Um, anyway, I bought them off of the Hermes website and they were relatively, I think, inexpensive compared to the other wallets that they sold um, and I think they are great starter pieces if you want to collect or acquire more Hermes items for your collection. Personally, I think these are the only two Hermes items that I'm ever gonna own because all the rest are pretty out of my reach except for maybe the beauty products but right now I doesn't it doesn't seem to make sense to buy lipsticks during this time, at least for me. Uh, so for now, I just wanted to talk about these two items because you might be interested in them. So I'm going to start off with a brief description of each. Um, I, their leathers, colors, and then I'm going to take actual measurements of the items. And lastly, I'm going to play around and see, test what fits in each of these items, just so you have an idea in case you want to know more about the potential of these items not just for their obvious purpose um, and basically that's it let's start so let's start with the Hermes Bastia coin purse it is square in shape it has a simple design it's pretty much one leather piece that was folded and turned into a coin purse it has a button closure there you go it opens up like this the Hermes logo is right over there. This particular piece is in Epsom leather in a two-tone shade. So this is called Rose Jaipur and this is Rose Aglantine. Hope I didn't butcher that. There you go. Here we have the Hermes Calvi. This one is meant to be a card holder. It's also very simple in design. It's pretty much one big leather piece that was folded. There you go. The Hermes logo is here. So as you can see, it has two compartments for your cards. And this one is in ever color leather. And then the colors are Malachite, which is a dark green, and Blue Atoll, which is a like light blue, almost Tiffany blue-ish type of shade. There you go. Now let's compare the two leathers so you can see their difference. This is the Epsom. It's pretty green. And then this is the Evercolor. Not as green, but when I hold it, this is more stiff compared to this. This is really soft. So before I go ahead with the measurements, let me just note that uh, there are different types of leathers, as you can see from Hermes, and they are priced differently. So for example, the Hermes Bastia in Epsom is less expensive compared to an Hermes Bastia in Evercolor. There are different types of leathers and how they're treated. Maybe their quality is different. I'm not sure. I'm not an expert, but I just wanted to say that because you might be surprised why certain leathers 
even if they're the same type of item, they're more expensive compared to the others. So it's because of the type of leather. Now let's do quick measurements. Let's start with the Bastia. Okay, so this is three and one fourth inches by 3.2 inches. Okay, so it's not exactly square. And then the calvi is 4 inches by 2.6 inches around that size. So now let's do some quick side-by-side -side comparisons between the two. Okay, so instead of a what fits, I decided to play and throw around some ideas on how you can use these small leather goods. Um, let's start with the Hermes Bastia. So since this is a coin purse, of course, you can use it for your coins. There you go. I have a couple of coins over there. Uh, what I've seen is that some people find this uh, easy to use because you can slide your coins over get what you need you can see everything and then slide everything right back and you can close it just like that it's a simple design but it works and then I've also seen some who use it as a wallet so for example you have coins over there you can just fold your bills and insert your paper money and there you go it still looks good it's a really compact wallet considering this is a pretty thick wad of bills. Puro barya, but <laughs> it's what I had. <laughs> See? Okay, now let's take out the money. So for me personally, I use it for my earplugs. At my work, there's an area where it's pretty noisy, so I need to wear these. So given this, you can also use the Bastia for your earphones. Uh, some have used it for their AirPods if they don't want to bring the case. Um, and pretty similar, so wires, those types of stuff. Also, I've seen people use it for some perfume samples if they want to bring them on the go. Some also suggest using them for travel as a small jewelry case. Um, if you have any other suggestions, do comment below. Uh, but basically, those are different purposes for the Hermes Bastia. So as for the Hermes Calvi, this is where we get to play around, okay? So first, I'm going to try putting uh, coins and cash. Let's see. Coins. Put the same wad of cash. Okay, that's too much. <laughs> I'm just going to take the 20th. And then on the other side, maybe put some cards. Let's get one, two, three. Let's take five cards, for example. Let's see how it looks. Oh, that looks weird. Hey, it closed it. But I think with the coins, it doesn't work as well. Also remember that the ever color is uh, softer, so there's more give. How about we remove the coins? Hey, that works. And then cards on the other side. Yeah, see? So it can work as a compact wallet. It's nice. So, okay. Now let's 
push it a bit more and try how many cards it can fit per compartment without it looking weird by the time you close it. Okay, so let's start with five cards on each side. So that's one, two, three, four, five. I'm gonna take five more cards. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, so that's ten cards for the Calvi. This is how it looks. Okay, let's add three more on each. Okay, that's pretty thick already. Okay, so this is a total of 16 cards, 8 on each side. Maybe that's pushing it a bit too much. I think... Wait, let's see. Hmm. Let's see if 6 is still decent. This has 12 cards now. I think that's pretty manageable. It's really up to you, and depending on the leather your calvi is made of, how much you can fit. You just don't want to make it look weird and deformed. I think the best is the five on each side. There you go, ten cards. So aside from being a card holder, I've seen some people use this for their oil blotting papers and tissues. You can also try using it for uh, your earphones. Uh, but I think it's most practical and best used as a compact wallet. One side will be for your cash, the other side for some cards, and then uh, another place for your coins if you need them. Because some people don't bring too many coins these days. Um, yeah, I haven't used this because this is really new, um, so I'm still deciding. I think I'm probably going to use it for uh, tissue and oil blotting paper. And that's it for this video on the Hermes Bastia and the Hermes Calvi. I think these are great starter pieces if you want to dip your toes into the brand Hermes and get acquainted with their leathers and their products. Um, if you like this video, Make sure to give it a thumbs up and I hope to see you again really soon. If you also want to read more in-depth features and write-ups about luxury, do visit IamBagHappy.com. Um, please subscribe and click on the notification bell if you want to see more videos from my channel. Keep loving luxury and stay bag happy. Salamat!